Okay, so I just downloaded my new version of Camtasia for Mac, and I wanted to just throw some uh, quick thoughts up here before I really have a chance to play with it. But uh, as you can see, the uh, timeline looks pretty much the same as it did before. Um, larger viewing canvas, some more controls over here, uh, built in native to the to the little you know the gear icon there uh, for editing purposes. So. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it streamlines a lot of the editing process that goes on, much less clicking between menus. Um, the annotations have expanded a lot, so there's a lot more native control on what your text looks like, a lot more callouts, um, a lot more arrows to choose from, so a lot less, uh, you know, native clicking or you know, menu clicking to get the, quite the, what we're looking for. And I really like that they added this highlighter thing here, so that's going to be uh, great as far as editing. Uh, a lot of the transitions are are very similar to what they used to be. Again, I haven't played with it totally yet, but um, a lot of uh, just it looks like a lot of streamlining. A lot um, some th some of the animations, the tilts, they used to have to do a custom video action for that, but now they um, are native in there, so we can just drag and drop. So if I want to you know tilt my face, okay, and zoom out on that, if I had another window over here, that's now a native uh, function. So you click on it, and that's what it looks like for that. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, fade in, fade out, you know, uh, you can go from there. Uh, video effects, again, much of the same. Uh, we've got some window spotlight, we've got some drop shadows, again, colorizing. The thing that I thought was really cool in this version, at least, is this new device frame right here. If you drag on this, so if you're showing a tutorial for something, uh, actually, let me get rid of that transition. What it shows us is now we've got, you know, a window for. Um, our screen. So if I'm if I want to show, okay, this is what you're seeing on your computer screen. I can actually show them that, which is which is really cool. Um, it's going to add a lot of layers to the video. Uh, audio effects uh, looks again much the same. Uh, we've got a pitch uh, choice in here. I'm not quite sure what that does. We'll have to play with that a little bit. Uh, captioning is now a native feature. Drag and uh, you still have to type it um, unless you have a uh, a peripheral speech to text because uh, the Mac doesn't have that. So. Um, but again, you know, kind of located into one spot. The other thing I'm pretty excited about is this new cursor effects. Um, there wasn't a great way to call out where your mouse was, and but now, um, you know, in version 2.0, we've got a spotlight, a highlight, and a magnify. So if I drag the spotlight, okay, it'll highlight where my cursor is. Um, if you highlighted it, you know, it'll change it to yellow. It's a little hard to see right now, but again, huge functionality tool to help just in the editing and the streamlining of what your video is doing. Um, and it's just great, a really, really solid, you know, rollout from TechSmith. I'm really excited to use it. I really encourage you if you're looking for a screen capture uh, program, this is the one to go with if you're if you're on the Mac. This is really fantastic. Great job.